welcome to hopefully a day vlog on the 7th March 2021. Right, um, as uh, a couple of you have asked, you want a vlog. Now, I'm not just doing it for the sake of doing a vlog today, but uh, it's also the reason, as I've discussed before, I'm just really busy in my home life. There's a lot going on in the background, as I say, personal life. And don't worry, it's nothing that affects the job or anything like that. I'll hopefully won't. So, uh, I'll sort that in a minute. My uh, bedding's not uh, been sorted out quickly. Actually, I'll do that now. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> Just my OCD was going off as I realised. So, the downside of, of the daff is the bed sheet. You have to have, tend to have to try with a uh, small double, but still, it doesn't fit it correctly. So, it's a nightmare to fit. And then, uh, you can get away with a single of it, but it that equally is awkward as well. <laughs> but that aside, let's leave that aside, yeah. But, yeah, it's a lot going on in my personal life at the moment, so that's been really hectic home-wise. Just A, didn't give me time to edit, and also B, I wasn't in the mood. You know, as I've said before, if I'm not in the mood, I don't tend to vlog. I know they always say that's the best time to vlog ever. Just I tend not to. I just don't seem to have the energy to vlog. <laughs> so, right, where are we today? We are down at Camelford Airstrip, parked up. Well, parked up, about to head out imminently. Once I finish my vehicle check, which I've done a walk around already, I've noticed my LED side light is out. Nothing I can do about that except from report it. So I'm going to be doing that imminently. And that's on the tractor unit, which uh, is a bit irritating. But this is our last week, hopefully, in the DAF. I think this is why she's trying to get payback. She was struggling to start yesterday. Today is the uh, side marker light, which means what's going to happen tomorrow? Who knows? <laughs> it's a daff. It likes to test you. <laughs> ah, it's okay-ish truck. I mean, it's not the worst truck I've ever driven. It's just, it is what it is. That's all I'll say. It is what it is. But I'll talk about the daff in the future video a bit more. In some ways, to compare it against my next truck. I may have said it in prior videos, but I'm going to not mention what I'll be getting till I get it, because you'll be seeing it imminently. Probably the week after you see this, you'll probably see, you might even see some stuff on my Facebook and Instagram before that, so please check that out. You will probably see uh, some sneak peeks on the new truck. Sorry guys, so I have to have my tea before it goes cold. As I was busy setting up my vlogging layout, you know, so it's all set up way to walk and roll. Yeah, so today's main aim is we're just going to do a fairly standard vlog. We are literally going to be bombing between here at Camelford. So we're about to go in and go get loaded here at a customer here. And we're going to go to a biomass plant up near Tiverton is our first one of the day, and I assume our second one from here will be to Exeter. And then we're back, and I think we're doing one more tomorrow, and then we're going to be doing something up either Meg or Bristol sort of way, but I'll be roughly briefed. I'll work out what's happening there, but that probably won't be in the vlog. But I thought I'd give you a bit of forward picture of how my week is going, because on Monday, which is tomorrow, that is my Friday, so I think they're finishing me off because the our boss, I believe, is taking my truck back and changing it over to my new truck. So, uh, something like that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But besides that, all is actually quite good, actually. I'm okay, which is the important thing. I hope you're all okay. You know, keeping uh, 
as sane as possible with what's going on if you're you know if you're fortunate to be working or fortunate or unfortunate or depend how you look at it not to be working you know I do feel for you it's it is though what it is I'm just gonna stick that I'm not I don't really want to get any more closer into talking politics by the way because it's a bottomless pit I could talk politics all day long but actually we probably won't get anywhere uh, so I'm trying to multitask, which uh, <laughs> I can vaguely do, but not very well. As uh, yeah. our vehicle check on this, I'll, I'll show you one there. I'll push up my new truck. It is done on a PDA, which I've mounted you on the PDA arm. So I can't really show you at the moment. But uh, either way, we do a vehicle check on the PDA. It's pretty simple, really. It's self explanatory get asked load of questions once you've done it like a million times you kind of know where to look for stuff I don't know it fully but I'll still read it all now and again just to make sure I'm not saying yes on anything that I don't have yeah we're all good lights we aren't good I hate when the lights out it, it winds me up and it's a light that I can't replace as well it's because I don't have a replacement LED side marker light for a tractor unit just don't it's <laughs> i have a ton of bulbs i even have the led markers for the trailer <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, not for the tractor unit hey ho it is what it is and i will report it i'll report it on here and i'll give the dispatch a bell just so they're aware of the issue so if they get me in somewhere get it sorted i mean get it sorted so what I'll do, I will catch you once we've loaded. We, I might go into time lapse once I've loaded. And then I'll see you after that. And we'll see where we go from there. It's a beautiful sunrise this morning, which I may throw up a picture during this intro bit of that. It might be a fun cover to this video, you never know. Pardon me. And I'll see you in probably a few seconds or a minute or two. See you in a minute. just down the sticks. I'll take you in there. We've done this loop before in the vlog. And I do apologise. But it is no what it is. We don't get to pick where we go. We just do what we're told. Move load between A to B. Oops. 
we go, let's go! Oh, it just thrashed me inside. I think sometimes some people use the mystic ball at the end of the day, but we will thrash, so... Obviously that plane drove, or SUV, is a bit impatient, but fair enough. It is what it is. Thank you. Yeah, so it's been a weasel journey across. I didn't want to vlog anything on the motorhead, so I had some bit of time lapse. But, uh, defence warning, 8th to the 14th. So that's tomorrow, I think. Hope you might see another sign on that one. All the way, but well, actually, might not get out that way. We'll see. We'll see what the score is tomorrow. I think we've got to come to this one tomorrow as well, but uh, I'll plan that in later. But it is what it is. We have to divert around road ropes and all that if we can. Yep, so as I said, we've had a pretty good journey here today. Good weather, nice and sunny, a little bit cloudy here and there, but otherwise the weather's awesome. Cold though. It's only just gone above freezing now, really. It's about 10 o'clock now. And we should be at the customer by about trade past. Also, uh, so we just crawl up this hill. So it's uh, gonna look a bit more oomph a bit to manual mode. Just so it holds on to the gear a bit longer. Yep, so as uh, so I say I was gonna talk about something, but I've actually completely forgotten about what I was gonna talk about. <laughs> Which is always handy, isn't it? Not really, but hey oh, it happens. And uh, so, basically, as I said, we're going here, then we're going to go to X or go back to uh, Camelford area and uh, load there and then go to our customer next. Uh, then we'll go back to Camelford, park up for the night, ready for tomorrow. As I always call, as I would say. I'm trying to keep a close eye on fuel as well. I'm not desperate, by no means imagination. It's just... Uh, where we fuel that, normally down here, is shut. Well, it's shut to heavy goods vehicles because they're doing a lot of work on the uh, forecourt area or for the heavy goods side. So, uh, and all the other backup sources we hit, well, not sources, other places we could go, not really where we prefer to go, but the pump's all out of order. So, uh, makes to a very interesting situation. But as I said, it's good to have a 700 litre fuel tank, which uh, gets us through it. I know with my new truck, it's, I think it's going to be slightly smaller than that, I'm reasonably certain of, but you know, you win some, you lose some. But I say the advantages of the new truck, in my opinion, probably far outweigh the DAF at the end of the day. No offence meant to the DAF, it's been a reasonable truck. You know, it is what it is, as I say, there is positives about it, but as I say, that's for probably a future video to talk about the differences between the DAF and my next truck. I'm trying not to give away, you probably, I may have given it away the other week, what I'll be getting, but I'm not going to say anything this week to keep you slightly guessing if you're not following along with the channel. But you, as I said, as I said earlier, go and check out my uh, Facebook and especially Instagram, as hopefully, if I remember to do so, if I go and drop my kit off on the weekend, and it'll definitely get some pics, and I'll probably, worst case scenario, I'll definitely get some pics up on my Monday on Thursday of it, hopefully. If all goes well, of course. This is transport, and things are always subject to change. So we take it steady along here. Technically you could do 50 along here, but 
I much prefer to sit around about 30. Maybe maximum 40 now and again. I might get nearly to, but I don't really like going quick down here because we are pretty much as wide as the road. And we are in power mode, as I call it, just so it gives us a look a bit more oomph for what oomph it can deliver. Of course, Mr. White Van Man decides to sit up right behind us. One of my biggest pet hates, but hey, you can't really do too much about that. It's the headache, as they would say. It's just, it's just dangerous, really, in my opinion. No, no justification for it. You're not going to save fuel at this speed anyway as well. <laughs> Before anybody does mention, oh, if you set stream something, you can save X amount of fuel, or the miles per gallon, whatever it'll be. But the danger far outweighs any form of gain you could ever have from it, from time to fuel savings, whatever the art excuse is. It's, you know, one of those things that you have to put up with as a, as a truck driver. I'll just back off now. Let's car go through. There we go. Oh, man, we're struggling. Come on. There we go. As I say, as I've talked about plenty of times with trucking in the countryside, it's just all about taking a step back and just being a bit chill, really. Just, I'm not saying crawl through the countryside or anything like that. Don't make progress, make progress, but just have more of an element of caution, though. Because a lot of people don't, especially locals. They're probably the worst at it. They'll come flying around a blind bend without expecting to see, you know, a big truck or even anything else coming the other way. I've had cars on my side of the road. <laughs> you know, on the blind men, because they've just hit that corner way too fast. Lucky nothing came about, about these situations, luckily, but they have a lot of potential. Just because they've always done that, they always have got away with it. And they have the scare of their life. Ah, truck! <laughs> Surprise! That's where you want to go. Surprise, here's Johnny! <laughs> well, there. Come on, film that's out of again. I'm going to have to watch it on this one a little bit. So we're doing about 20 here, if not below. Just because we've all cut the corner on that one as well. But I want to keep a look a bit of momentum just to keep the trailer as far as not cutting as much as I can, but we'll have to stop if required. Back up to 30 and we engage a bit of exhaust plate down here. It's just, as I like to call it, common sense. You know, you're driving a big vehicle down small roads, tight blind bends and summits and hills, down hills, or descents, climbs, you know. don't really want to come off the road for obvious reasons. Or get involved with anybody, <laughs> to put it politely. Yeah, but uh, you know, I enjoy doing this, enjoy country driving in the heavy goods vehicle. It's not everybody likes it, but you know, it can get stressful though, I do, so I do see why some drivers much prefer just to cruise their motorways and, and all that all day long, fair enough. Depend what work you do and, you know, horses for courses, as they would say. So the plan is, we're going to go obviously go and get tipped. They're normally quite good at this place, they're pretty efficient, so we should be out there now. 40 minutes or so. 
give or take. Hopefully if all goes smoothly. And then we get over to Camelford, go and get loaded again. And then we go to a self-service site to go and tip. Which basically means we lay ourselves in, we open the gates, we offload, we go and shut the gates, weigh ourselves out. You know, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Some of the positives of being a tanky driver. <laughs> there is some sides that, you know, you just want, you have the access code, you know what the horsey is there, you know where you need to put it, you know. We also have a contact number, so in those situations, if you do have a drama, we can always phone up their office and say, look, you know, the common one will be their tank is full. Where do you want me to put it? <laughs> I'll see if you put it anywhere, you know, it's probably the most common issue or an issue of the way bridge. Oh, now the van driver overtakes, fair enough. He's, he's given a bit of them. Things have changed. I've, lately I've had quite a lot of motorists, I'm not going to say who precisely, just who overtake you and just immediately cut in on you. Which I just find mental, but a hope. I had a uh, smart car or something like that the other day. It pulled in literally in my front my quarter. I had to pretty much nearly slam on. And I did, it, it did speed up nothing. I was on cruise control doing 50. I think it was, or whatever it was. That load. Actually, it was dual carriage, right? So we've been pulling at 56 there. So. But as I say, stuff happens. And that's why we're professionals, you know. Not everybody can be a professional on the road, sadly. Don't stop it being infuriating, though, when people mess up and do silly stuff and act selfish as well. But as you've probably seen from other vloggers, stuff does happen, you know. And I suppose it's inevitable, sadly. But we try to avoid it where we can. But nevertheless, off that subject, I am I am literally really excited. I am. I'm pretty much birthday, Christmas, all at once excited for the new truck. So you can probably imagine what it is coming. So it's nothing exactly epic, but I'm still, nevertheless, really excited about it and looking forward to it, you know. Can't come sooner. <laughs> As I, I think the gremlins on the DAF are definitely out and about. As I said with the marker light this morning, and she was having issues starting yesterday. She's been fine since, but uh, two times I went to uh, start her up yesterday and she just wouldn't take over at all. It took her quite a while to boot her back up second time it did it, it took an awful long time, you know, to the degree that I was like thinking, oh no, I'm going to have to phone up here. <laughs> and it was on the fuel pumps as well, which was like, oh no, this is not the place to break down. Please, stop here. <laughs> well, I suppose it could be worse, but I think it was just a bit of rubbish in the fuel system, I suspect, how, how it was. Oh, it's a past experience, I suspect. So yeah, so I'll, what I'll do, I'll get to the customer, get this load off, and then we'll probably have a time lapse through the countryside. So I'm thinking about going the country way back, which actually is five minutes. Well, it's about the same sort of time, really, between going the motorway way. It's just I like to mix it up a wee bit and just go in the country way all the time. Right? So uh, we'll probably do a time lapse on the way back through the countryside till we get to the A30, maybe a, well, whenever it will cut out. And uh, go and get loaded at Camelford. And then I'll probably see you once we've loaded again. 
probably on the uh, Camelford Road somewhere. And I will see you when I see you next. Now, I'm negotiating our way around this car here. We're all good. So, the plan is need to get to the customer, get tipped, and get back, and hopefully keep it all within a 13 hour shift. It's looking okay at the moment on my rough reckoning. But, anybody knows transport, stuff happens. <laughs> <laughs> which change it the best late plans can go down the drain hey, better calm it down there we go yep so we're all good we've got a full load for 44 ton or just a smidge under but near enough so as the boss likes it, more or less. So, so much prefers you be bang on, but near, near enough a full load that we can get happy days. We're living the dream. I was going to say to you, but I'm going to still say, I've been living the dream today. Weather-wise today has been absolutely glorious. I mean, it's just clouded over now, obviously. Which, uh, just check on that. We are all good. Yeah, but aside from the cl clouding over now, it's been actually a very glorious day weather-wise. Perfect trucking day otherwise, mostly. So down here in Devon, Cornwall. It's the 
first time today I've actually had to drive out wearing my shades. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I say I think the weather system is obviously moving in. Thought we had it too good for too long. <laughs> Just my luck. But nevertheless, make the most of it. It's always good when you have sunny days on the on the road. Even when it's freezing. It is pretty cold out there. So it's only four Celsius now. And it's only about quarter to three, more or less. So this is a pretty pleasant road. It's probably more for the uh, technical, what I call technical sections of this road. Nothing too much of a drama. Want to get past the next village. It's a bit of a cruise, and we hit an other village, which is a 30 away through. Tends to be a lot of speed traps in that one as well. Not saying I speed through villages, by the way. I don't. I always uh, recommend stick to the speed limits. But you do learn where. The speed traps hang out still. <laughs> even though truck drivers should be sticking to the limits, you still get flashed to warn you of the speed traps. I'm like, should be sticking to the limits anyway, so why do you need to warn me? <laughs> but it's a, it's a subjective subject, that is. Flashing to warn of speed traps. I know people probably agree with me. I kind of, I do see where people come from when they do it, but I do also question because it does lead to a certain element of confusion. What are you flashing about? Is it a a speed trap? B is it an accident? Or is it something that's going wrong with my vehicle? You can see, or a whole host of other things that could be. Ugh. Yeah, they were spraying the fields on the way in, and you, you're lucky you can't smell the smell. <laughs> it smells fresh. And not so in a good way. <laughs> well, I'm fairly used to that guy smell, but yeah, it's one of those potent farm smells. That's all I'll say. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. <laughs> That's good. The farmers out and about doing their thing. Light transport, farming cannot stop either, either. All very key stuff. And we'll just set our cruise control and we'll just uh, go a bit slower than 50. They want to, even they can do 50 along here, I'll we'll go a couple more now or slower. Just gives a bit of capability. Instead of driving to the max, not maximum. Got a few people out walking. Yeah, so. Trucking wise, all good. I gave it a quick spray down, but the truck is absolutely, dare I say it, and I'm ashamed to say it, honking. I've not been able to give the truck a wash, or a proper wash, or even get it to a truck wash in who knows how many weeks. I, I do apologise, I don't like doing that. It's just the limitation of where we are. I don't have a wash back to where we park up. So we're very reliant on getting into a truck wash where we can. So, uh, or when we get back over to the main yard, which I've not been back to the main yard for a few months either, which is probably the longest I've been away from the main yard. But hey, I'm not complaining, but I wouldn't like to get a truck wash. That's another thing I've got penciled in for tomorrow, but it is what I would call a sacrificial item tomorrow. It's only if I've got time. If I've got time, we're going to get the truck wash tomorrow, hopefully because it definitely needs it. 
And so I managed to give it a spray down my hose while I was loading back at the customer there, but that's all you can do there. Which is only good at really cleaning off your mud guards and, you know, getting some bits off them. Because how dirty it is, it's not really shifting a lot on the, on the body at all. I mean, you, you need some soap and jet wash and everything else to get it back up to how I would like it. But it is what it is, and it is the time of the year as well. You know, as a uh, Trucker Josh, is it Trucker Josh? Not Trucker Josh, got Trucker Josh stuck in my head. Um, Luke Z would say, it's winter spec. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I've been watching a lot of Luke Z's videos lately. Well, I mean, I do, would like to apologise, I did have a. Uh, Ah, I don't know if it's Max's Trucking Photography or so, something Trucking Photography get in touch with me on Instagram last night and we had a look a bit of a chat because he was wondering where my uh, vlog is and what was going on and uh, he asked me have I watched any of his content and I admit I've been way too busy to follow and watch everything I would like to watch it's got a whole host of people to catch up upon on YouTube, on Instagram. I do see a lot of the pictures though from them, you know, on Instagram, because it just pops up on my feed, so I do have a quick browse at them. I don't normally have time to respond to them though, which I would love to, but just, just, like I said, I've been way too busy lately. It's just, you know, when I've had some free time, it's had to be my time and more to do essential sort of stuff I need to get done or chill out with. But to be honest, I haven't had much of it either. A lot of stuff going on, but not the end of the world. And it, the situation is improving. So, which is the good news. Yeah, so... Da, 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 da. I think is there anything else to talk about I think I've covered a lot of the bases you know new trucks imminently coming and as I said as I said earlier absolutely electrically excited about it I really am maybe I'm like a little boy for Christmas <laughs> we'll, we'll get into it no doubt as I said I will try and give you some sneak peeks on Instagram this week when I do get it, but bear in mind this is transport and plans do change in transport. So even though what I've been told is pretty much rock solid, it could still all change. Because as I said earlier, if you know transport, everything is liable for change. As, as I would say, I'll believe it when I see it. But nevertheless, I've sorted out the truck. I've actually bagged up a lot of stuff in my lockers, so all my lockers are all sorted out and organised because I need to transfer all my stuff into my car, ideally. Because this will probably go back to the main yard and I don't want to leave anything of my stuff in this when it goes back to the main yard. So, not to say the boss won't transfer it, it's just to save any mistake or, you know, relying on somebody else to move my own stuff. So, easy option, offload it to my car and I'll sort it out either on the weekend when the truck's bought over or when I start my shift. We'll see, so I've got my car in for service this weekend as well. So, it's a pretty busy weekend coming up, so hopefully I'll be able to get this video smashed out. Which I should be able to do the editing on Tuesday, hopefully. And we'll see where it goes from there. I'll try and aim to get that out around Thursday, Friday, if I do it. Yeah, best to wait up here if cars commit up, because it is kind of narrow at the end of the day. 
and all about being a professional driver, as they would say. It's just being able to read the road, read the situation, and prevent a situation arising if you can. You can't always, but like that, it's best to back off than go down and get into a bit of a stick and slip somebody down. Down, yeah, whoever's right or wrong, you better do the right thing. Let's back off if it is that kind of situation there. So what I'll do is I'll go and deliver this over extra. And I'll probably do either a time lapse, probably a time lapse on the way back, and I'll do an outro when we're probably parked up. So I'll see you in a few seconds. You're well, but minutes will do. And I'll get cracking, get this delivered. And I will see you very shortly. started this morning pretty much <laughs> do it yeah we did start here I think sort of vlog here who knows either way this is where I started this morning so all's good been a good day successful on schedule which we all like we'd like to be on schedule tomorrow as planned we'll be off go and do basically the first half what we've done today and then we're going up to uh, Bristol and then across the farm near Chipnam and then home. Yay! And start next week, we should be in a new truck. So, as I say, really excited about that. Something to be looked forward to on the channel. I know I'm being a bit secretive of it at the moment. A, because it's transport, anything is subject to change. I doubt it, but it could be delayed or, you know, so we'll see. But anyway, I'm looking forward to checking it out. 
and yeah, I think we covered everything. I said the delivery went well, we had a nice drive back. I said, sorry we did stop in the egg garage, I forgot I was... I might leave it in there, but uh, yeah, I did stop to grab a few things in the shop there very quickly. And yeah, I think we have covered it all. Yep, just making sure. Um, I would do some shout outs a bit. I tell me faff about the phone at the moment. I need to be a bit more organised. That is one point to take off this vlog. A bit better organised. Because I do have to do some shout outs. I keep meaning to do so. And I don't want to bodge their names up if I can help it. So I'll do that on another vlog. Maybe my next the one after that. We'll see. Next one could be... A video on my new truck. We'll see. We'll see what comes first. I might do a vlog in it first, get to know it, then do a truck tour. We'll see. Maybe not. I won't do a review, but more of a truck tour. Then I'll do aim to do a review. And when I do the review, I will also then do look to do a video comparing ZDAF to the new truck. I said I was looking at doing a video on the DAF with the DAF to talk about the pros, the cons, but I reckon I can do that with my new truck and hopefully explain it adequately. I just haven't had time to make that video. That I've attempted to do it, but I didn't like how I did it, so, and I don't have the time that I had then when I originally done the first recording of that, or first take. I don't have the time to retake it, so, uh, that aside, that is probably one of the only negatives is that I'm not going to get that video done, but we'll have quite a few other videos to do anyway. So, and hopefully with the new truck, I will aim to redo my taco video that is on the list of high priority videos to do. Is I want to redo my taco video because that's when I was learning. I know I wasn't steady. I've had one person comment he wasn't too happy that it wasn't steady. Thank you very much for feedback. I do appreciate that. I will see if I can get some sort of mount to fix the camera so you can see the taco head and then all I need to do is operate it to demonstrate and it should be a lot more steadier in theory and I'll probably do it on this camera. Um, anything else? I think that's all the news really for the channel. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please, if you haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button. It does help the channel out. Also, go and check out my Facebook and Instagram and my other videos as well. If you like what you see, hit the like button, obviously. If you want to comment, ask any questions, comment down below. That's how I do read all the comments and obviously you know, be respectful at the same time. So, with all that said, I would like to say a massive thank you to everybody. I also should have done a massive shout out at the beginning, I've just realised, of reaching 160 subscribers. You know, I know I'm a tiny channel, but for me, wow. 160, you know, it's... And bear in mind, I, I think... 60 of those have come over a period where I've not been <laughs> producing much. And yet again, thank you very much. But I find it incredible that I've gained 60 subscribers over a period when I have not been releasing too much content. But nevertheless, thank you very much. It is appreciated. And yet again, if you haven't subscribed, please smash that subscribe button. Let's go and hit 200. And then we're setting the next goal, and the next goal, as it keeps going on along the line. But seriously, each one of you, you're all very much appreciated. And, yeah, again, without you, it wouldn't be a channel. So, I'm seeing what that was. So, yet again, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you, A, in my new truck, hopefully, and B, next time, obviously. <laughs>
<laughs> Over and out.